Hi everyone. In last part, we have done Angular 19 setup and installation and here you can see that application is perfectly working fine. So in this part, we'll see how we can make our first change in Angular 19 application so that you have some idea from where you can start writing your code in Angular. So first of all, let's go with the points. So we'll see where we can make our first HTML change. Then we'll see where we can make our first TypeScript change how we can make new properties and variables and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions also related to the angular 19 all right so let's move to the code code here you can see that we have lots of files and folder and maybe you have some questions like uh, where we can use these files and folders so that we'll discuss in the upcoming parts don't worry about that but now let's focus on where uh, this code is written and how we can change this code all right so go to the uh, src folder and inside this you will have a app component so again maybe you have one more question what is, what is component how we can make and use it don't worry in upcoming part you will get to know each and everything about uh, these things right so there we have app.component.html so this code is actually producing this output so let's say i'm just making one change there h1 tag and writing there anil Siddhu. and here you can see that output right so if i just select all of this code and remove it then you will see we have that blank screen and if i just make some change there let's say hello angular 19 you will get this output there all right okay so this is where you can make your first html change now if you're talking about first uh typescript change because in angular we don't directly use javascript we have almost a uh, file for typescript and they are internally converted in the uh, javascript when we making builds all and all all right so there you can see that title we have one property don't call it a variable because when we define variable we have to write there let or war like this let or you have to just write there war but if you just try to write their war or let you will get a error why because see we have a class there this is a typescript class right and in this class we cannot directly write their uh, variables so if you want to make something that will uh, store some value then you can make properties right and uh, before that you don't need to write any where const and let they will not work inside this right so we have title and there i'll let's say just changing its value code step by step and if i just want to print inside this or, or you can see that there then what you need to do just use any tag or even without tag if you just use double curly braces we call them interpolation and then just mention inside this title we'll uh, discuss lots of other things uh, about these interpolation but now let's see how we can display these properties values on the uh, output screen so here you can see that this is visible so if you want to use there some html tag let's say h2 and just write a uh, title inside this with the uh, curly braces or you can say that interpolation then still output is there all right so uh, now let's say with the same way you want to define one more property let's say name and name is let's say not a uh, colon you have to use there equal to anil situ now come there and use any let's say h3 or h4 whatever you want to use tag and use interpolation or you can see that double curly braces and mention their name and you'll get the output there right so this is how you can use the these properties inside the html file all right okay so now maybe you have one question and that question can be asked in interviews like can we write variables constant and literals inside the classes the answer is yes we can write but inside the class functions so let's say if you have function like this right inside this you can just take some variable let's say this const uh, 20 and uh, let's say ah, we have to make its value like this right and maybe for uh, data equal to let's say something so 
these variables will definitely work but in only inside the functions not directly uh, inside the class right so that can be asked in interviews yeah so that's all we learned that how we can make our first change where you have to make the changes and in next part we'll talk about these files and folder what is the use of these files and folders and some important interview questions also which is very important they can directly ask like uh, if you want to check the angular version where you can check what is the use of angular.json what is the use of this typescript configuration these things we will learn in the upcoming part thank you so much for watching this part please subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm and google pay donation number thanks guys